the man that opened the blind eyes. The supernaturally natural man that came to demonstrate the dominion that God has given to you and I, the way you should live anyway. And we have him and he has passed on to us, ladies and gentlemen. You are more than you think you are. And that's what God has sent this man and woman here to do for you. You are supernatural. Jesus made you supernatural the day you believed him, the day you received him. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. And had we been supernatural to bear, the Bible makes it clear to us. It said, by faith. Simply put. That is, I must believe it and expect it to be. I believe firmly that the person who is super ignorant of something and the person who has an idea but does not apply or forgets it, they are the same thing. And that's why the Bible says that the just, that is the righteous, shall live by faith. So, Pastor, why are you coming to do here? To come and show me I can preach? Of course not. It's not going to affect your destiny. Why am I here? Why do you think he will invite me? Because he has no work to do. I have no work to do. Of course not. He has faith. She has faith. I have faith that somebody's life will change for good way in the name of Jesus. Yeah. What if it does happen? What has the devil to, to, to mind this business? Because it will happen anyway. Yeah. I'm telling you, if it happens, I know that I know that I know that I know in the name of Jesus that some people are here and they will never forget this even in the name of Jesus. Spirit of their life. So what we are speaking is capable of bringing life, of setting up life in you. I don't care how much of a failure, I don't care how much of a non-entity you are, I don't care how much of good for nothing you think you are. I'm telling you today that when Jesus touches a life, he has the ability to bring the world in the comfortable position. The Hallelujah. That's why he is God. Mm. No, that, that, that's the truth. If you can change someone, who are you? Ah. Mm -hmm. I tell them to compare to someone. I mean, are you right? Compare to someone. How impatient are you compared to someone? How, how frustrated are you compared to someone? Can you be compared to Saul? That had the government back him to attack the church. And God appreciates that. But this is so. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So before I proceed now, I want to say, God always provides. Wow, I feel the fire. And I know, and I know, and I know. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That by an action of the spirit, somebody is going to tell you using today. Amen. I can feel it in my bone. I can feel it confirmation in the spirit. That the liberty that is done of that we are the spirit of the Lord is liberty. I still have liberty for you somebody's life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm talking to this person now. Your belief system is what the devil has used to to rope you and tie you down. Because you believe that they've done this to your family, they've done this to your people, and they've done this to people, and you have been living in the fear that that's something that has been done to you. But my Bible tells me, and I'm here to tell you, please, yeah, I never know who you are. That he whom the son has set me is free. No chains on you anymore. No chains that is strong enough to hold you down anymore. I'm telling you that when you have felt it, I'm not trying to take a step again. I see this God wrought a miracle in your life. In the name of Jesus. If you deny the brain, he died to make you realize the supernatural world that has made you. He died to make you begin to walk again in the confidence and the boldness, in the dominion that he has made you. And then for a lot of people, you are waiting for people to help you after God has finished you. Amen. They work for you. Mm. Yes, we use people. But see, your confidence is not in man. Yes, sir. When your confidence is in God, He will send men and women your way. Amen. And they'll be glad to come your way. Amen. 
must be part of the action of God for your life and for their own lives. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Glory be to God in the house. Hallelujah. So before I go, I'm just and I'm anyway. So every day, for my purpose is for us to provoke the supernatural. Every day. And this is a There was family in land. That is story of Elijah. As this man had a way with God. And in his friendship with God, God now spoke to him. He said, You know, go to the brook of Charlie, sorry. And there, I'll make a provision for you. This man believed God. And he started walking to the brook, just like that. No sinking. I thought they are walking that way. Because the way you are thinking you won't be. What are you are thinking you The way you are not thinking you will God wants you to start looking that way when he talks to you. When God talks to you. When God talks to you. He got there. He sat down. But one thing he saw water that he could drink. And there was no water anywhere. But this one he used to drink. God has a way to lead. He has a way to lead. No wonder David said, Let me my life. I don't realize that God is my shepherd. I shall not. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. How do you talk about it? But as biting as a good news, I have to have that. God is a good news, and now you will check the bitter tap over your life. It's a bit to trust things when I'm talking about. So you have water. What about the food? All of a sudden, the raven came and began to rave those kind of things. They began to come and they began to do it. How did they do the food? They don't know. They were got enough. And the man recognized it to be food enough. And they ate that much food. They really ate it. Can I want somebody here? Please don't despise the days of the beginning. Don't look down any creature of God. He can use anyone, anyone, anything, at any time. This man, that was how he was feeding for a long time. I can't explain it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this thing called came on a time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why I didn't when I see that you came to come to me your eyes are doing so Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why did you shout? You wake up. <laughs> Like this brook has been coming and the food has been coming really. Mm. By the way, the raven are not the kind of birds that they want. They are not friendly birds. They are the kind of birds that they want. They are not good birds. Why can't you say anybody? I don't know what to do. Talk it to me. Mm. Even the Lord can use anybody. Yes, I know. I said that God is about to surprise someone. Yeah. And the name of Jesus. God is about to surprise some people in church. You have taught them and they have come to believe. The one time has come. The one time. God will reward obedience of his word. I'm coming there in the night. Anyway, so he came back and said, Look, this book will drive me. Okay. I feel the fire. You brought me here in the first place. And there's so many times. But you brought me here. And you fed me until now. And now you're telling me to drive. Okay, sir. So what rest? He said, um, after that, you will go into the city. Really? So you need something. You still have food. He said, ah, yeah, that's a widow. Okay. So, just go. I will show you the woman. 
She was, she was starting to feed me after now. Really? Now, Elijah got there, and guess what? And he was sitting. He said, God, I'm here. He said, I sit and wait. Can I send you there? If I send you there, I'm going to good. So he sat there and he was waiting. And suddenly, the woman came out, picking sticks. And God says, that's the woman. Uh-oh. Say, hey, woman. You know, there was no water. Mm-hmm. Can you give me a cup of water? Mm-hmm. Nobody has water now. Mm-hmm. Everybody's is waiting to mm-hmm. Who is this one? Is he a stranger? Mm-hmm. Asking for water. Yeah. Where nobody will dare ask for water because people don't have water. No, really. He thought, All right, sir. Let me go build it. I prefer to fire again. I don't know who you are. You have supported this world strongly. And sometimes you wonder, say, oh my goodness, I've given so much. We heal you before the end of this year. In the name of Jesus. Your fortune will turn around. For good in the name of Jesus. That the surprise turn around. And so she started to go get the water. She was starting to go for the water. The man said, Mara, Mara. She stopped. Say, you know what? Can you make me a little bread? Ah, I think this one is a stranger. You know what? You know You know what? 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 I will know why he's telling me some other other sources of information. Mm-hmm. Every day. Yeah. Anyway. So she turned and said, Sir, <laughs> <laughs> you saw me picking six. He said, Yeah. He said, The little I have left, powder, or flour, rather, oil, is what I want to use the stick to prepare. And after eating that, my son and I, uh, maybe we will die. If I see the baby, say after eating that, we will wait to die. Oh, shall I So, can God prevent such poverty that will lead to death from asking to give? His ways are mysterious. God doesn't want that woman to die. Or I didn't want that woman to die. He didn't want that son to die. Guess how he did. Say, madam, you see that little that you are going to give some power to you. Hmm. What do you mean I should give out? I'm managing. I, I don't want you to. I don't want this thing, the lack of it. So give it out. She stopped for a while and looked. She turned, okay. But after she said, look, that this one, the other said, okay, I hear you. But you know what? Go and do my own first. This one is looking selfish to me. But I see the man of God. Now I'm not saying that it's the last time of God to come and defraud you, no. There is a supernatural power. Mm-hmm. And this is what we believe and what we teach. Mm-hmm. Because this is what has worked in our lives. And this is what the Bible expects of us. And so she turned her bread. And she made the bread. Now, the woman didn't know that God has said, Go to Zion first. I will show you a woman that will feed you with the rest of this crowd. She didn't. We don't know what has gone on behind you. But what we do know is this. There was a spiritual intervention. Mm-hmm. She cooked. If I eat, I will die. If I don't eat, I will die. This, eat, this eating the only people. The only stress by dying day by going to the other two hours. This one. How do I do? So if this cannot sustain my life, 
I'm going to ask you about it. Mm. I went and gave it to my mom. I said, God bless you, sir. I said, take. The man took it. I said, don't go come. Where you took the power and the flower from? It will never get sustained. Amen. Where you took the oil from? It will never get sustained. Amen. And the man is it. You know why? Because the man is going to ask it in the day. He will ask it tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. You know, God told him that's the woman that will feed you. But the woman can't, couldn't see herself like that. But the woman, you are more supernatural. I feel the fire. You are more supernatural than natural. Stop limiting yourself as natural. How did this woman provoke this supernatural? Give him. You know, I asked the question in church. I said, if you are asked the question, what was the first time that we saw Jesus in public? When was the first time he was in public? Eye? No, when he was there, he was in the temple. And then, but they had even closed the service. Oh, no. He was only the priest. So he was kind of private. Was, and now, that he. And how? What called attention to him? Human need. Their mind has finished. You know, until we go and the attention will come, the attention will come. Human needs the Bible. They provide what this is to provoke this woman. And so Mary saw. He saw them being embarrassed. He saw their fear. He walked to Jesus. He said, Sir, if they do not have a wife. Jesus diluted his time. He said, ah, What has that got to do with me? My time was not. And he was almost embarrassed. He was standing there. Mary said, You know what? Whatever he says. I'm asking a question. If I keep asking for grace to obey God, will I be provoking us on the Can you now see? that the understanding of what the Spirit is saying today is going to stand you until you are committed. Amen. Amen. Can you see that? Yes, sir. I was meditating this way, I asked myself a question. I said, now, Jesus was speaking, and you came to the He said, if you love me, And I know that if I do what he says, miracles will happen. I know. So what if I don't have a list of all the commandments of Jesus? Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If hallelujah is is strong enough, you'll never be wake up. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's not trying to be a little sleepy, but it's trying to allow you to sleep. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If I now start asking you, look, now that you know that doing what he says will bring me a cause, and let me show you an example. Okay, man. And I ask you a question. I say, can you give me three commandments of Jesus? Because if I do what he says, I'll get results. Give me one, Sorry? Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Can you do an example in the Bible where somebody did that and that? 
like he himself did. And the result? Wow. For God so loved that he gave his only good son. He himself did. That was Jesus gave his life. Come on, church. Are you here with me? He gave his life. He loved so much that he gave his life. So we find Jesus that we just say the doing. Come on, hello. And because he gave his life, everybody look like he lost it. They look at you today if you're born again. Look at me today. Come on, look at you. Look at God. He says the name of the Lord. Look at the name of the that is now obey him in God's composition. I see a dimension of increase. And you shall not explain all the way in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is the truth. And somebody has given that commandment of Jesus. Give that commandment to Jesus. Because we're provoking this for that right. So you see, don't relate yourself by what you had and what you never had, by where you been and what you've never been. It's a, it's a whole new ball game. Mm -hmm. Realizing that you are this supernatural. And you are supernatural. I don't know Jesus. Can somebody just give you one place that I close? No, that's the same one. That's what he gave me. I said, yes. I don't know Jesus. I can't imagine what. Yes, sorry. Yes, yes. That's the fact. That's, that's what has predicted this one. So give another one. Yes, one of this. Okay. And that's, that's, that's ten commandments. I mean, commandment that Jesus spoke. That's not right, but what that Jesus spoke. Okay, let me have you with one. You want to hear? All power in heaven and earth, for all authority in heaven has been given to me. He said, now you go with my name. So go into all the world and make disciples of every creature. And anyone that, 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 that believes and is baptized shall be saved. And anyone that rejects shall be condemned. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall do what? I can't hear you. 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 In my name they shall what? Cast out demons. Hello? They shall speak with new tongues. Mm. They think anything they think it will help them. <laughs> they shall lay their hands on this thing and they shall what? Recover. Glory be to God in the eye. Now, if you look at the book of Matthew, Mark, you look, the Bible commanded to ask one before because he continued there, the same thing. You see, Jesus telling us that we should go, we should go. He's a command. Let's remember, whatever he says to what? I can hear you. Can I tell you what made the church work? What has given the church kind of success that we have seen today? Because the early Christian church set out to obey Jesus. Who can I say that? Amen. You see what do you mean? Everything about their lives was souls. Going, 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 going. Tell me from Acts 1. Tell me from Acts 2. Tell me from Acts 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come on, tell me. Read there was any other agenda. It was souls, souls, souls. Everything that happened there, they took it towards getting souls. Everything. No wonder the church has expressed, wow, I feel the father. So much success. What the time will decide? What it was that way. That's my thinking. In my association. In my speech. In my pursuits. Souls. We like the book of this one, actually. Yes. I need a testimony as a young man in church. We are not that young anymore because we're supposed to have probably 50 now. He gave his life in church. That's why I say I know something that's happening here today. Is this a little good job? This is a little good job. And the time I was a little good job. You see how this works? So he has a lot of franchise in the good job. And he came in a Muslim. And he gave his life. And he was so frustrated that other people would give their lives to Jesus. The father and the father and the man. And the whole. He said, can this be real? He sat down and began to grow. And began to grow. And the pastor was telling me, he said, one or two here have ministries. I said, this one, no, this one is something else. We are calling people. As well as opening the ministry to become counter to the church. Your ministry must enhance the house. Or the ex house. Your ministry is not to get some some people that are lost in the church. You know, your ministry is that you are able to go out and bring more to enjoy the church. Go and bring this call. Who will feel the fire? So the man 
assignment in ministry. Say, Pastor, this one. Say, what has happened to me? I want to take it to people who cannot come here. I say, and God bless you. Can I be frank with you? In all humility, God forgive me without exaggeration. I don't know what people just tell me every year, but sometimes people give to me hundreds of millions budget for his company. You need budget for his ministry, hundreds of millions. You get to a city. He has taught every local government in Lagos State. He is almost a second one of the state is Russian state. He's entered into Badagri. He has huge machinery functionary informations. He just keeps going. And he was very small in his time. The souls are his number one concern. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not joking. He has a whole staff for his mission. And he has for his own work. And God has blessed him with you. Oh my goodness. God has blessed. Forget it. You can't be running after souls for the kingdom and be a poor man. Lying, lying. Then I sent you out in twos. Look at the boss. I did you like anything? I did like anything. I said, I did you like anything? No, I did not carry no boss. I did like anything. You can't be sincerely and genuinely go after the souls of men, rescuing them from hell, giving them hope for the future, and God will not embarrass you with blessings. I'm not exaggerating. I stand before you plain and naked. I tell you the truth in Christ Jesus. I'm Muslim. He is still going with so much vigor after the source of life. And God has given so, him so much grace. He's able to reach the high and lofty. He's able to reach the down trotting. He's been so blessed that when we go on the show, you go on the evangelism on the streets of the you see what can happen with people. He will trust the people. He will give trust that some people who are abusing. He can buy them over a hundred times. A thousand times. They will just have the room. We will still be praying. We will come back tomorrow. The number one priority of the church is the book of Acts. It's so sad. That's the problem of our church today. That's why today you see the church goes so big. Watch them in 10, 15 years they are gone. But whatever God does, it's permanent. If anything brings about good, but other than soul, it's not past. That will provoke the kingdom. That's why you may not be the pastor. You may not be the deacon. But you have a role to play. Oh, my Lord is my hand. Just look up my hand. We will get back to Jesus. That's all. That's all. Business is to grow, but they're not interested in God's business. 